my cousin Denny and my sister Jean and we'd like to just share a little bit about our history here on the lakes and as well as that our um, love of the lakes and our concern and preservation through IRCLA and how important that is to all of us. Um, our family has been here since around the 1926 area. Um, started with my grandfather who came up and was fishing on Big Twin Lake near Pickerel and he drew the family in and, and many different members really were very excited about the area and um, my grandmother's brother, our grandmother's brother, bought the cottage two doors down in 1926 and over the generations they settled and enjoyed all kinds of fun activities and eventually um, our grandmother, um, we have pictured here, we have Florence Hall Roos and we have Vi Hall Herskovitz. That's Denny's grandmother. So from 1955 on, we had this place, and we had all the various families, um, the generations that came from these two groups. I'd just like to turn it over to Denny to tell about her part of that. Sure. Um, my grandmother, um, Vi Herskovitz, started coming up here in 1955. Um, my family at the time lived in Chicago or just outside of Chicago. And so we would come up during the summers, but always had, uh, had a uh, pull to come back to Eagle River and my husband and I were here vacationing maybe 12 years ago. He'd never been out here. And uh, we were tooling around the lakes in a rental boat and saw a real estate agent put a sign up on a lot over on Duck Lake. And uh, he jumped out of the boat, swam up to shore, took down the information uh, and called. We purchased a lot and we built a home 10 years ago. So we've been here uh, off and on ever since. Four years ago became interested in the preservation of the sanctity of the lakes and that type of thing and uh, there were a couple of openings with IRCLA, Eagle River Chain of Lakes Association, but about a year ago uh, I became significantly more interested and am now uh, have the position of VP of that organization and my family, my sisters and uh, her two kids and my other sister and her child now come out and enjoy uh, the time here on the lake and it's just markedly different than California. Um, numerous lakes and beaches and whatnot in California but the uh, sanctity of the pristine nature of this chain of lakes is uh, definitely endemic to the Midwest or northern Wisconsin. You don't find that in California. Um, there are cigarette butts and trash and everything no matter where you go in California and here that isn't the case. It seems as though there is uh, sort of a pervasive need on the part of people who enjoy these lakes to maintain uh, to maintain that kind of original pristine nature. And so uh, that's what we're interested in doing and that's why we have the association with with IRCLA. That's why that's important to us. Um, I expect to give my home uh, to my nephew and hope that he'll continue to pass that along so that five generations turns into eight or ten or however many. The preservation of the water and the clarity of the water and just the beauty we want to see preserved and we want to be able to enjoy this for generations and it's going to be passed on to her sons so it's very important. So I got involved with the Otter Lynx Lake Association and then with IRCLA and I volunteer to help so that we can keep these beautiful things in years to come. So we're on Otter Lake um, as part of the chain of Eagle River, the Eagle River chain. Um, this lake has provided a lot of different activities for me and our family since you know I was younger. Um, we have water skied and um, taken a lot of boat rides, canoed and you know fished and the quality of the water has not changed much in the years that I've been coming and I've been coming since I was born and it's just delightful to every to come every year and enjoy the water and the activities and the boating and but to preserve what we have is such an essential piece for this area and if we don't I think you know we'll have like what they have down in Milwaukee or Chicago area where the waters aren't clean so I'm appreciative for Urkula and for the team that's working mm -hmm. to preserve our nature in this area. So far as the mission statement of IRCLA in its most encapsulized form, it's to protect and preserve uh, the chain of lakes. And that would run the gamut from everything, I would imagine. You know, the wildlife, um, making sure that we are taking care of the aquatic invasive species issue, which five years ago was much more prevalent than it is now. Um, uh, the the milfoil is pretty much gone from where it was at that point in time, and that's entirely due to uh, the effective mission, if you will, of IRCLA and the Unified Lakes Commission. Uh, there are now other uh, other 
plant species that need to be taken care of, purple loosestrife, the yellow iris, all of those, and Urkla. Um, Urkla recruits, if you will, people to come and hand pull those sometimes and to help pull out, um, put out uh, informational pamphlets that describe what these gorgeous flowers are and why it's not something that we want to do to continue their propagation, that it needs to be controlled. Um, so there's that aspect of it, the clarity of the water that Linda was talking about, that's certainly important, as well as maintaining uh, a safe place for people to have their families here, a safe place for people to boat. Um, everybody enjoys jet skiing, wakeboarding, surfing, skiing, all of those things, and we want to maintain people's ability to do that. But it needs to be done safely, and um, there's more people here than there, than there used to be, and so the, um, the potential for a bad outcome out on the water it has probably been elevated a little bit and so it's important that we uh, get the information out there about what what constitutes safe boating. We have recently instituted a an agreement with the Sheriff's Department to have an increased boat patrol and I've noticed that this year. You see the Sheriff's Boat Patrol out here much more frequently than you used to and, um, and that's important. You know we all want to have fun but we all want to be safe. So those are a few of the kinds of things um, that that I've seen grow during the course of time that I've been involved with Urkla. Um, there are things like the pink buckets, all of the buoys that you see in the no-wake zones. Those are all things that Urkla has either originated or continued or tried to magnify and um, just get the awareness out there um, that there is work to be done in order to maintain uh, what the beauty of what we have here.